Hi everyone! Today, we will present on Herzberg theory, which is also known as two-factor theory. It is proposed by Frederick Herzberg, a behavioral scientist in 1959. According to Herzberg, there are some job factors that result in satisfaction which is motivational factors, while there are other job factors that prevent dissatisfaction which is hygiene factor. Based on Herzberg's view of satisfaction and dissatisfaction, the opposite of satisfaction is no satisfaction and the opposite for no dissatisfaction is dissatisfaction. This theory resembles Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Everything from physiological, safety, and social needs essentially are hygiene factors and everything from self-actualization and esteem needs essentially are motivational factors. The first factor would be the hygiene factor. These are the factors that are part of your job that need to be present to ensure at least a reasonable level of satisfaction. If the factors were present, they would not make people experience extreme level of satisfaction. However, if they were not present, they could be a source of extreme dissatisfaction. The examples of hygiene factors include pay, job security, social needs, physical work environment, and compensation. The example for pay would be salary commensurate with experience. Meanwhile, for job security, the example would be when a worker prefers a job with permanent position than the one with contract. For the third one, which relates to social needs, the example is having a good relationship or interaction with the co-workers, physical work environment such as the facility provided in the workplace like pantry or office equipment provided is in excellent condition, and for compensation is like bonus, incentive and salary increment to compensate their hard work. If these are absent, it could lead to extreme dissatisfaction and demotivation. Based on a study conducted by Fang Yang in 2011, it was found that in order to motivate the employees in China to become more hardworking in performing their work, hygiene factor is implied. An example to the real world would be how Tesco applies hygiene factor as a way to motivate their employees. The organization in Tesco involves their employees in decision making. This makes the employees feel the sense of belonging towards the company. Every year, there will be a forum in which the employees have the chance to discuss on their salary increment. This is the kind of reward that will be given to the employees in recognition to their work. The second factor would be the motivational factors. Motivational factors are factors that directly motivate people to work harder. Motivators are more concerned with the actual job itself. For instance, how interesting the work is and how much opportunity it gives for extra responsibility, recognition, and promotion. Motivational factors need to be controlled and communicated with the employees in order to determine what are the causes of demotivations so that we can fix this problem as well as understand the situation. And then, we can begin to motivate. Motivational factors include achievement, recognition, promotion, growth, responsibility, and work. Firstly, the employees must have a sense of achievement and this depends on the job. Therefore, there must be an outcome of some sort in the job. Next, the employees should be praised and recognized for their accomplishment by the manager. Then, there must be growth and advancement opportunities in an organization to motivate the employees to perform well. Next, the employees must hold themselves responsible for the work, by means, the managers should give them ownership of the work. However, they should minimize control but retain accountability. 
Lastly, in terms of the work, it should be meaningful, interesting, and challenging for the employee to perform and to get motivated. To apply this theory to the real-life situation, we can use an example of leading a team. Take a little time with each of the members to check that they are happy and are being fairly and respectfully treated. In other words, a leader can encourage his team members by providing development opportunities, promoting great achievement in work, and celebrating their success. Therefore, motivational factors are the factors that contribute to team members' satisfaction. It has widely been known as job content factors, which aim to provide an individual meaningful works that is able to intrinsically satisfy themselves by their work outcomes, responsibilities delegated, experience learned, and achievements harvested. That's the end of our video. Thank you for watching.